I don't know how many times I have spun this shit around. So many times. Or well, maybe this should go on there. I don't know what I'm doing. Yippee! Yay! Wee! Look at that! I'm running out of room in the office! And it actually looks like I'm missing one piece there. Where'd that piece go? Yeah, my bad. I'll just fix that piece. Whoops. Okay, ready to do this, Scotty? Not really. Okay, here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scott. I'm Scott. Hi. You're watching Bemis. Bemis. Hey, guys. How's it going? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I am Scotty. Hi. You're watching Bemis. Get it? Bemis. Pick Me Up, Scotty. And we're back again with Mold King. You know, I really do like the original sets. I'm quite enjoying the stuff that they're putting out. They're getting crazy right now. Putting out tons of modulars, but they also have questionable builds. Some are stolen designs especially the Star Wars stuff, it's like ridiculous. What are we looking at right here? This is Mold Kings, part of their Nova Town series. Hopefully an original set. The Afternoon Tea Restaurant, 16026, 3,039 pieces. I mentioned before that Mold King is finally paying off designers if they have stolen sets, they're getting in touch now. If you're out there, if you're a designer, I hope they get in touch with you if they've stolen your design. And they have their own in-house designers as well. So they're trying, they're trying to be good. This here, I'm pretty sure is original. If not, then cut this video, delete this video, remove this from YouTube right now, Scotty. Now I've never seen anything like this before. Just the overall look at what you're seeing does kind of remind me of some of the Brickative builds. I sure hope this is not from Brickative. If it is, just go support the designer or let me know in the comment if you find it. Pretty sure that this is an original. They may have been inspired by them to do this, all right? It is crazy, <laughs> crazy all over the place. Mold King does not have any minifigures, so there are no minifigures with the set. There's nothing like the barbershop color. This one more like decent. So first thing you are going to notice is that this is a corner style building. Do you need more corner buildings? You got a lot of choices now. It looks really crazy. It's like got three different things going on here, here, and here. Over here, it looks ridiculous crazy. Look at the design on that. But it was actually really fun to put this together. They had some techniques I've never seen before. I was like, oh, oh, how refreshing and good is that? Here's some walls for you, beautiful walls. You wish there were some windows there? Different kind of crazy colors going on there. I'm not sure why it's like that, but there is a purpose for this. Trust me, there's a purpose. It's just like this side too, there's a purpose there. So as usual, we work our way from the bottom to the top. So corner building, not maximizing the base plate. Gets a little bit small on the inside. They get smaller as we work our way up. Kind of feels like it's a trend now. It's like they're doing that maybe to save time or just faster to punch out sets without having to put too much work into it. Uh, maybe I'm just totally wrong. At least it's all tiled. You have a street lamp here. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing the same street lamps in all the sets. But that's okay because on this side, you got this little flower area which makes up for it. That is a sticker. Set does come with a couple stickers, not a lot, so that's good. It's this flower shop. I like the colors, I like this idea. And that's interesting, both entrances to this place have no doors. Go in there, steal your flower, have your coffee, and run! Half of everything that's mounted in looks upside down or sideways. It's just really weird. Okay, like this awning right here. It's like a wedding altar, you can get married right there. It looks really cool, but it, like, it looks sideways. Like It looks like it's a balcony being flipped upside down and put there. I'll give them credit though. A lot of like what you build on this is very unique. It separates itself from every other set. Colors of the whole theme itself, it's actually pretty okay. I did not like the color on this side above the altar. It's like this weird kind of brown at first. When I started putting it together and it had like a lighter version of this brown, I'm not even sure what kind of color that is. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that feel, but seeing it like this and all together, it's like, okay. They use like a different mixture of colors. That's okay, it's actually kind of nice. Sandwich in between the two entrance. It's a small little counter. Coffee, it's a takeout counter. It's a little bit gloomy in there. Well, there's a sticker there. It says Nova Bricks Cafe. Your bricks belong to us. Yeah, I like it. Even has kind of the Starbucks color with the green and white there. Then we come to this part, which is obviously the restaurant. Look at that hole, man. Where's the doors? I can almost stick my whole hand inside. I probably mentioned this a thousand times too, but when you're doing like corner parts that slide in, I've noticed they're always somewhat tricky on some sets or they're really loose. This one, however, is totally secure. Let's look at this crazy looking wall right here. Look at all the windows. It's like fences, right? And as the window frames, they're to flip sideways. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. So each part of the window, like, or each window, actually slots in. And I'll show that to you in a bit. But when I was putting that together, I was like, 
Oh, wow. You're not actually building a structural wall. You're building like sections and slotting them in. That was actually really good. For the second floor windows, I don't have words to describe what I was building or what I was doing. It's very different to windows. I actually don't know if I like it or don't like it. I like how I was building it. I think it's just the shape of it. I don't know. You guys fight amongst yourselves, good or not. It's going to be really split, I think. It's like you either really love this thing or you're just like, no, I don't like it at all. So moving on, as I move back around to this side, you can see that they're carrying on these little grill pieces there. Maybe one window was okay like that. But to have all three like that, you're like, whoa. It's a bit much, man. I like the green. The green actually helps break up this whole thing. That was kind of cool that they stuck little vines there along the side and the top as well. You can see a little bit up there. There really isn't much here on the back side, but what's interesting is these pieces, I'm not even sure what you call those. You know me, man. They're just plastic bricks to me, but they turn this into a ladder. What a great idea. Part of the structure. So you know what? If you don't want to buy the set or you don't want to buy like off brands, you just want to stick with Lego, you can just kind of be inspired and just look at these and just, Use your Lego bricks and create this. There's a little balcony area here. There's not much going on. That's fine. If they would have clustered things up in here, it would have been very messy. So now we come to the top of the tower here, which is starting to look very familiar to every other tower that kind of has a similar design. It might be different in some parts. It looks cool. I like how it's black. It's actually nice for a change that kind of breaks up that color too. So you're going from this green to this black. Yeah, that's the way I like it. As crazy as this looks, it's actually okay to put together. A little bit gaudy looking for me. Actually, the whole side here, it looks a little bit like too much. They could have toned it down a little bit, but it's creative for sure. On this rooftop, there's nothing there. They could, probably could have like made a little garden here because, hey man, you got a flower shop. Where are they growing these flowers? Where are the flowers? I don't see no flowers here. They could totally make a greenhouse here. We saw it done in the other set. Why didn't they just put it here? Maybe I should put the barbershop top part up here instead. Where is it? This piece. They could have just put it right here. Then you have a greenhouse there, or you know, use your barber shop, take it off there and put it on there. This postcard freaks me out every time I see it. I do like this rooftop after building it. I thought at first I was like, mm, I don't know if I like the colors, but it does kind of give off this European vibe. Am I right or am I wrong? Ah, uh, let's move on. So if you did not know this is modular, let's take this off. Does it come off nicely? We're about to find out right now. <sighs> Thank heavens, it's totally fine. So there it is, the inside. If you look at it from this perspective, yeah, it's a little bit small. It's kind of like, oh, that's what you get for making a corner building. But is the inside any good? Let's start on this side, the restaurant part. So we come in the front where there are no doors. It's all tiled, great. I actually like the color of the tiles. The room itself, it's very brown. Brownie, brownie, brownie room. Oh, look, you got one booth here, man. It's you and your lover, that's it, man. No one else can go into this restaurant. You know, if they just would have pulled the wall out to here, you may have been able to fit a couple more chairs or seats in there. Or maybe not, it might have been too tight. Okay, we got some lamps hanging along the wall, simple. Oh look, the face reminds me of the Mold King Castle, same style. This is actually pretty cool, the countertop. You can actually lift this piece up and you can open the bottom part like a car door. We'll do a minifigure test later if they can fit through that thing. You got a very simple cash register there with a sticker on it and a joystick, very minimal. And there's the other side of that takeout window there. The coffee machine, that is the smallest thing I've ever seen. Would have liked to have seen a little bit more detail. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be on the other side. It's like an upside down faucet stuck there. Along the back wall, you got a sticker there that says pizza. I'm not quite sure why they have those pieces underneath it or what they're actually for. But one of the cool things that they did with this is the walls can come off if you pull it up. We saw that in a Disney video last time. So there, now we can go inside the set and be like, yeah. Bam! Now you can play with it. You can put your hand inside like that and go like, look, mommy, I'm playing with my figures. Then you got a staircase that goes up to the second floor. Before we go up, we'll come back to this side here, the flower store. You come into the flower shop and what kind of a flower shop is this? There are really no flowers here. Okay, there's a couple on the floor, which I don't know what that's supposed to be. Could have been livened up a little bit more. I thought that was a coat hanger in the back. I'm like, that's kind of neat, but now I don't even know what it is. Like flowers hanging off of it. Okay, got a workbench here, I guess, or a counter. There's nothing there. Pretty plain, you know? I do like the little light on top. Nice idea, simple. Now there's a back room there. To open the door. <gasps> there's a plant inside there. The neglected plant that nobody wants. They shoved it back in there. Same deal with this wall too. Nope. Yeah, oh, 
Now we can really go in there and play with it, even though there's nothing in there to really play with. What really needed was this room here, just to get in here. You only have a little tiny window right there. Can't see anything. It's like a little jail for plants. Now, if you really wanted to get in there, you can just pull the staircase up like that and then take the remaining bricks down here below out like that. Oh, I didn't even know there was a box in there. There you go. That's the first floor for you guys. What do you think so far? Too plain? You like it? Don't like it? Your mounts are there, by the way, if you want to connect it to other modulars. So that's good. It's on both sides. There, there. Woohoo! All right, let's move on to the second floor. Where did I put this? I'll put it on the floor. So the second floor kind of has three rooms. So you have to take off three rooftops to look inside. So we'll take this one off first. So it come off easy. Sure does. Yeah, nice and solid. Put that over here. This piece come off. Yeah, easy. Put that over here. One more. Yeah, see, easy, nice and solid. Then we come to this room. So you see what I mean? We've shrunk. We're so small now. No, why so small? So let's follow the staircase and go into which room? Which room first, you guys? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. Okay, this room first. Above the flower shop, we open this door. What do we see inside? It's a little office area. It's so small. But they managed to squeeze a bed in there. I figure we'll slide all over. But at least he's got a nice, tiny, small desk. I actually quite like that desk. Simple, even has a stud to represent a tiny, tiny drawer. He's got a seat there. Behind him, he's got this water cooler. Oh, what? You can't see the water cooler? You can see it like this. Yeah, because that opens up too. So now your kids can play with a set. On the other side of the door, there's a little cabinet there. I think it's just like the color is the same as the chair and the desk and the windows. Not sure if I like the color like that individually, but as part of the wall here, I think that looked fine. Very small room indeed, but hey, that's where the flower shop owner lives, I guess. Then we come to this room here. You know what? I just realized I forgot to put a couple stickers there. I'll put them later for the close-ups that you're seeing now, so you can see both. What it looks like without the sticker, what it looks like with the sticker. It's just more pizza there. So this is an extra room for all your guests to eat at. So at least if downstairs is fully occupied by two people, come up here and eat. Once the stickers are applied, the pizzas actually don't look that appetizing. What's with the green? It's like green pizzas, green chairs, and green tables. Something's a little bit off with that color combination. Yo, I like this chandelier looking thing. It's interesting how they mounted it there on the side. It's like a pirate sh ship wheel. Look, this thing can spin really good. Yeah, can act as a fan. Cool your patrons off. Woo, I like that. And same deal, of course, on the back here, this wall can go. Now we can go inside, like that. So you got the family table here. Looks like an air hockey table. I don't know, the colors now inside don't look as good as what I see on the outside. The combination of colors. This dark green is kind of throwing me off a little bit. So you got this table, stools, not proper chairs. Figures will slide everywhere. You got this little corner area for another couple to have their pizza. That is a very weird looking table in that corner. You know, they almost went so crazy on the outside, it's almost too plain on the inside, or maybe they could have gotten a little bit more creative with the inside part. So that's the eating area, and nothing is hung on the walls, by the way. So no pictures or anything. Then you come to this corner here, which this wall does come off. You're gonna laugh at this because I'm like, oh, that was cool, but it's still blocked there. And you can't even get see inside here. You can still see it from the top. But this is the kitchen. That is the smallest kitchen in the world. What a waste. Got this giant pillar that's kind of blocking the way. I'm assuming this is an oven because I see a frying pan there. So I'm, I'm guessing that this is the only kitchen. Where do you use the frying pan? You only make pizzas here. That's all you get. A couple containers there for the sauce or whatever. You know what? Out of all the small rooms here, they actually did tile this kitchen. I don't know why. But I guess the really good thing is that this is structurally, this is really well built. Like, yeah. No problems with that, I was quite happy with that. Now you wanted to see the wall that I was talking about. Let's see if I can pull one of these off. Here, I'll slide that out. So you build it like that. That's how you do these side walls, they're crazy looking. Slide out. Oh, it's a little tiles on the top that's kind of holding them down. I can't show it to you, there we go. Okay, you go like that. And then you slide this one like that. And you slide this one like that. And you have this open thing here, you see? So you don't build the walls there. 
the same deal as on the first floor. You want to see it real quick? Let's do the first floor. And by the way, you guys have been ordering some of these sets from us, from Mold King especially. A lot of their parts and pieces are in other bags. So not like, you might be missing some pieces, but you'll find them later. Yeah. So I was like building this going, oh, how does that go in? Oh. Oh. Oh, like that. Yeah, and I can put these two on top of each other to show you like that. So what do you guys think? Cool technique? No? Yay? I shouldn't even be showing you this. This is for your enjoyment to build when you do this stuff, you know? I mean, yeah, it's not a perfect set. It might look a little crazy for some of you guys, but I really actually enjoyed building it. We just want something very different. This was quite refreshing. And it's a small build. It won't take you long to get through. Here's a quick final look at a big rooftop. There is a window on the side. Well, how about that? And the ladder extends up to the top, which there's nothing up there. They could have put more tables and chairs up there. Nice outdoor eating area. Of course, they leave that up to you. Look at all those wacky patterns along the front. At least it's fitted in there nicely. Hollow, there's nothing there. Nothing here. Craziness, there. Oh yeah, and when you put it back down here because of the tower being there, they didn't really like secure it here. So it's kind of loose right there. It's intentionally loose. Then got this rooftop here. After completing this rooftop, I was like, yeah, this is actually pretty nice looking. And on the inside here, you can see that it is hollow. There's nothing on the inside. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. But again, there's no nothing to secure it there. I'm not sure why they didn't put a little stud there to hold it down. So you guys can do that. They leave that up to you. Last but not least, the tower. Roofing does not come off. There's a big hole right there. It's kind of like the Disney castle for one character. That's it to overlook this restaurant. Oh, boy. It's been over a week already and I just finished this video. You know what that means? I'm gonna do a quick dimensions for you. I'm gonna drop this thing. Then I'm gonna work on the next video. Boy, it's been busy. Busy, busy, busy. So y'all know that this is on a 32 by 32 base plate corner, corner thingy. Get out your one by four bricks, stack them up here, and oh, it's, it's pretty much like right there. Look at that. So that is 39, 39 bricks in height. Here's your dimensions. You guys want to see this with other sets? All right, let me pull out some other sets for you. So this is what you're seeing is actually a Lego modular. You can buy it, it's a little bit expensive because it's all for charity. It's a really cool idea, cool concept. You know, I'll look at this one pretty soon. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this. But there you go. A plain looking modular with this crazy looking modular. Let's see what else I've got. Might as well pull out the barbershop, which is also from Mold King, which is also an original design. Yippee! Yay! Here we have Zingu's Happy Build. Small modular. Looks nice though, yeah. Don't look crazy. Crazy! Da -da 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 -da. It look better this way. It look better this way. This way. This way looks nicer. Cause you got this part here. I like that. What else we got? What else can we fit in this table? Another set I haven't reviewed yet. The botanical garden from Mold King, which was a stolen design, but finally the designer got paid. Brick Polis, I think. Brick Polis. I don't know how to say your name, man. I'll review this one pretty soon. Pretty too. <laughs> A lot to review. No, that's kind of far out though. The Disney restaurant doesn't really fit with this thing. Maybe if I just turn it this way. See that? How's that? I got way too many sets now. Wow, what a variety here. It's going from like, this one here probably doesn't go with these sets at all, but someone was asking me questions about this. Sorry, I haven't reviewed this one either. It's not even like to size. Unfortunately, this is the back. I don't even know why I'm pulling this out now. It's just here. This is the back of the building. It looks cool like that, but the front is totally open. This is a one gay set, by the way. Time to play with my one. There you go. Kind of crazy. Yeah, this is a little bit loose there. All right. Global Blix Tool Zone again. Hope you guys are doing good. Looking forward to your new stuff. Put this here, there, or if you want to keep it even more simple, We'll just go like this. Lego pet store, afternoon tea house, global bricks tool zone. All right, you get an idea, good reference. 
All right. All right, kiddos, it is drop test time. Honestly, I think it'll survive. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Don't fail me now. How high you want me to go? I'll go about this high. Nah, I'm just kidding. This high. No, let's go a little bit higher, Scotty. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hanging by the thread. That survived. Check the floors. Well, it's expected that the rooftops will fly off because they're not secured in there, right? Oh, I didn't see the flowers down below. The flower sign came off. Some of the flowers there, let's see. Oh. Okay. I'm pretty sure some bricks may have gotten shifted. Yeah, like this got shifted here. Push this back up. Come with the flaps opened up here on the top with the roof part. Oh yeah, got a little bit loose there. There we go. We're all fixed up. Hey, I'm happy with that. Oh, that time again. Uh, what time is it? What year is it? Every day I write this letter to you. Have you guys been receiving my letter? And every day I'm stuck with one of the most annoying things I've ever come across. But I love this thing. In fact, I better go check up on this thing. Ah, uh, now where's that thing? Good morning, Scotty. It's my scene. Oh no, it's that thing. It's killing my brain. What you talking about, Scotty? I ain't that bad. What, you don't miss me? Yeah, I miss you, man. I'm just kidding. What'd you make today? Green pizza, again, for the thousandth time. You know I can't eat meat. I gotta eat this green pizza every day. Eat up now. <clears throat> Dear, I wanna throw up eating this thing. You've got to get out of here. Got it. We've tried, but okay, if you say so. First of all, most important thing is before we go, we gotta wash our hands. Right, dear? Wait, this cabinet is blocking the way. Can't see you. There we go. Now I can fit. Ooh, look outside. There's so many sets there, Scotty. I miss visiting them. I know, right? Look, I see a western bar. Oh, look over there. That looks like a Statue of Liberty that's broken down. Oh, yeah, check that out. It's a pirate ship. I want to go sailing, dear. A Chanel store. I could use some luxury handbags. You know we're not allowed on that set. Scotty won't let us on there. Why? We all know why. There's too much excitement we're missing. Let's go. So far, the coast is clear, Scotty. We've made it here. I don't think we've ever been downstairs before. What is this place? You mean we've been in a restaurant this whole time? Wait a minute. They had coffee here this whole time? No one told me that. Dear, I gotta have a cup of coffee before we go. That's fine, Scotty. No rush. Oh, I like this couch. I'll keep myself comfy. Yeah, I gotta see if I can fit through this thing. Hey, I can fit through this thing. Well, that's surprising. That's because you're getting skinnier. You're looking pretty good, Scotty. All right, I'm done. It's time to get our coffee and run. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think you're doing? Oh man, dear, we were so close. Ah, uh, ah, uh, nowhere. We just wanted to get some fresh air. You know you're under quarantine. You are not allowed to step off this premises. Dear, quick, through the flower shop. Let's go. Stop. One big thing. Quick, dear, the back exit. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, Scotty, I don't think that's a back exit. It's just a plant inside there. I'm the oldest plant here. There's no escaping. They'll just put you in here with me. You might as well stay out there and eat your pizza. By the way, your pizza ingredient is me. <laughs> oh, I hope I taste good. Oh, hell no, I don't want to be locked up with that plant. Scotty, over there at the big opening. Run! All right, I'm running. Excuse me, you were told to stay inside. You have just broken quarantine by stepping outside. Guess what? You're gonna have to stay for another six months. No, dear, why did you tell me to do this? I didn't say anything to you. What are you talking about? You brought me into this. Oh, I want to cry. And listen, besides, 
really wanted to try to escape. You can't. You're walled off here. Look. Oh, yeah. She's not wrong, though, dear. Can't go anywhere anyway. It was fun while it lasted. Let's go inside and eat some of that plant pizza. Oh, well, dear. At least we can always come up here to the rooftop. Let's take a nice little rest here, too. We can admire all of those sets from here. And by trying to run, you made it worse. We got these guys always looking out for us now. I wonder when Big Scotty will come and rescue us, man. It should take it too long. I just want to say thank you so much to all you guys supporting us and asking for us to come back. We've been really, really busy. But in the meantime, please stay safe wherever you are. We all miss you. And thank you for ordering from the store. You know, we've been packing all your orders, too. It's been so busy. And the two doctors that you saw earlier, you know, Scotty's gifting those now. If you order from us, you'll be getting them. They'll be checking on you. Until next time, you guys. Brick is out. Brick is out. Now, would you like to join me for a spot of tea? Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, don't forget to comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, tons of new stuff arriving. I don't know when I'll have time to do them for you, but thanks for hanging in there. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all the social media so you guys know how to find me. A lot of you do message me. Thank you so much for your kind messages. I'm so glad you're all getting your orders. More stuff to send out. Christmas is coming. That means more Christmas sets from these guys as well. Like this one that even has a fogger machine in it. I don't know how I'm going to send that to you. I think I have to take the liquid out. That'll be coming soon. So thank you so much. Until next time, you guys, break me out. Spill the tea. You guys like Beavis better? Or should I stick with Break Me Up Scotty? Break Me Up Scotty, Break Me Up Scotty. Beavis, Beavis is a lot faster than Shay. I'll just kind of try. It does really look kind of similar to like Brickative build. Yeah, I would know about that too. Brickative or the guys, the designers, you guys out there, you're amazing, man. Your sets are really, really good. I wish I could buy them. Putting the whole thing together. Like this was a lot of enjoyment putting this thing together. Did I just repeat myself? On the back, God, we just look at the back. I can't even tell what I'm filming anymore.